Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to look at build 21370 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. A couple of changes in this worth looking at. The uh, first one is around the Bluetooth. I've got my Surface Earbuds paired up here. And um, you see here that I've just got Surface Earbuds, uh, my microphones and my internal speaker listed. Prior to this, I would have always had a headset and headphones so that you would obviously see the surface headphones and the surface headset which is always a bit confusing it's just that one is used by teams and sort of skype and zoom calls and one is used for music playback it's always been a bit confusing having two in there at the same time so what here microsoft done is combine them into one which makes a lot more sense and a lot easier for people to understand so the other change they've made with this build is as well you can also play aac uh, wirelessly on bluetooth headphones and speakers uh, which it AAC is a codec for high quality audio streaming. Um, so yeah, that's good, so, so that works over Bluetooth as well. And that's the main changes with this build. The rest are um, some minor fixes. Microsoft say they've um, made some small improvements to the File Explorer uh, address bar, or the icons in the File Explorer address bar. I don't know whether that, I, I, don't, I doubt whether they'll be able to spot them from here, but uh, you can see all the new icons now anyway that are in uh, in Windows 10, which is good to see. So, uh, yeah, you can see those. But anyway, so that's what they, they've changed. And they've improved some of the I mean, animation when the uh, on-screen keyboard uh, reflows uh, when it appears. I doubt whether you'll be able to see much on that as well, but I can toggle it from there. So the rest of the things are just fixes. They've fixed some things with news and interest, which is now rolling out to everybody. So that's the, the news and interest feature that you can hover over and get your info on. They fixed some issues with um, .NET Framework. They fixed some um, bug checks, bug screen to desk or green screens yeah, when you're Windows Insider. And they fixed some issues with USB drivers and some language issues. So there's still some known issues, the first one being that builds may hang for an extended period of time. This one is on the release notes every week, but I've never seen it. Um, some areas of search will no longer display correctly in the dark theme. Uh, I've got light theme on it here, but um, I haven't seen any issues with it so far, so um, keep an eye on that one. The camera app does not respect default brightness and uh, WSL, the Windows subsidy for Linux, File Explorer performance may be slightly worse when they're looking at that. And there are some occasions when Linux fails to launch because of the parameters incorrect message. So that's it with the with this build. Um, this, these builds are sort of features are trickling down. I think we're going to see some more UI features coming soon. But uh, that's what we've got at the moment. But yeah, if you're a, a Linux user, then this is great because you've got GUI applications, everything support built in, which came in the last build. And if you like the news and interest, that's rolling out to everybody soon as well. And we've got Bluetooth improvements. So we've got um, that's the changes with uh, with this build. Um, if you like this video, please like it. It helps with our uh, subscribers and algorithms and things like that. You can follow me on Twitter at Alex Dixon. And I'll see you on the next one.